सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट स्पेशल प्राइसिंग फंक्शन बट आर स्पेशल प्राइसिंग फंक्शन वी विल सी आफ्टर द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो मे बी इन द सेकेंड वीडियो ओनली बट टू स्टार्ट विद द स्पेशल प्राइसिंग फंक्शन वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म दैट इज द ग्रुप कंडीशन नाउ बाय द टर्म ग्रुप कंडीशन वी कैन गेट अ इमेज इन अवर माइंड दैट अ कंडीशन दैट इज अप्लाइड ओवर अ ग्रुप इज कॉल्ड अ ग्रुप कंडीशन दैट ग्रुप कैन बी इधर अ मटीरियल ग्रुप or that group can be either a customer group either on group of materials you can apply one condition or either on a group of customers you can apply one condition and in both the cases it would be called a group condition so here it is written through sap customizing menu you can go to the customizing menu of sap and you can select a condition type from there and when you apply that condition type to a material group or a customer group then it is called a group condition suppose see the example material group 01 is having two materials material 1 and material 2 now if i apply the condition type k029 to this material group then this condition type k029 will now be called a group condition because i have applied it over a material group so i hope you have understood what is a group condition now how this group condition help us let us understand this with the help of an example the group conditions generally help us to buy a product at a better price okay see suppose this is you and you are owning a clothing and apparel shop in your area and for your shop you want to buy some goods that means you want to buy the stock for your shop so that you can sell out to the customers okay now you go to the wholesale market from where you buy the clothes and apparel all the merchandise from wherever you buy you go to that market and you meet a vendor out there the vendor is selling out the goods in wholesale that means the vendor will sell out a minimum quantity to you then only he will offer a better offer okay now you ask the vendor i will buy something if any appealing offer is there in the market the vendor says yes i have an appealing offer if you buy 100 pieces i will give you 50% discount and if you buy 1000 pieces i will give you 70% discount that means if you analyze the statement of the vendor he is saying from 100 pieces to 999 pieces the pieces would be charged at 50% off and after 1000 pieces they would be charged on the 70% discount okay so you ask the vendor can i complete the quantity with different items of my choice that means i want to buy blazers and i want to buy jackets then i can combine blazers and jackets to complete my quantity so that i can get the discount the vendor says yes you can group your items together so this is how you would be able to get a better discount for each item by grouping the items together see you are glad and you choose to buy the goods from this vendor and how this vendor is maintaining this in the sap system see here there is a material group the vendor has created a material group in the sap system that blazers are allocated item number 10 and jackets are allocated item number 20 okay now there is a condition type k029 existing in the sap system the condition type k029 will always have one condition record associated with it so here is the condition record condition record says k029 is special offer discount sales organization 1000 distribution channel 01 customer is k1 and material is 01 see material group is 01 so here we have written 01 okay so this condition says if you buy one piece then dollar 10 per piece from one piece that means from 1 to 99 pieces dollar 10 per piece from 100 to 999 pieces dollar 5 per piece from 1000 and later dollar 3 per piece so you go to the shopkeeper you go to the vendor and you place the order and when the sales document is created see item number 10 is blazers you place the order of 60 pieces now if you only place the order of these 60 pieces then what will happen this 60 pieces will fall in the first category from 1 piece to 99 pieces dollar 10 per piece okay so if you buy blazers and jackets on different days 
then blazers would be charged at dollar 10 per piece and jackets would be charged at dollar 10 per piece because you are buying less than 100 pieces here for greater than 100 pieces the price is dollar 5 per piece so what you do you place the order of blazers and jackets together item 10 60 pieces item 20 70 pieces so total quantity is now 130 pieces now as the total quantity is 130 pieces the second condition will match from 100 pieces dollar 5 per piece so that is why you were glad you were glad to hear from the vendor that you can group the items together so that you can complete the minimum order quantity and when you complete the minimum order quantity you get a better discount okay so condition type k029 is applied on both and both the items are charged at dollar 5 per piece and total order point order price is dollar 650 if you can calculate here okay suppose if you placed order differently then what would happen 60 blazers would alone cost 60 into 10 dollar 600 and 70 jackets alone would cost you 70 into 10 dollar 700 a total bill of dollar 1300 would have been formed but you can group the items together and as the group condition is working on this material group you are getting total of 130 pieces at dollar 5 per piece that means only dollar 650 dollar 1300 and dollar 650 you are getting clearly a discount of 50 percent so this is the criteria of special pricing functions that we can apply the condition type to the whole material group and then we can calculate the discounts based on the total order quantity so that the customer can be offered the items at a better price similarly some in some sap systems some vendors can maintain the condition types to overcharge the customers just like this example was to give discounts to the customers we can maintain the conditions like if a customer buys a group of materials then the customer would be overcharged that can also be done both the cases are possible so i hope you got the concept clear that why condition type have to be applied to a group and why they are to be called group conditions i hope there is no doubt this is only a simulation that helps you understand the concept of condition type so that a customer can be offered a better price so thank you meet you in the next